thank you for being with us uh, tonight. What, what did you think of the letter when you first saw it? I was absolutely appalled. This week, I've just come back from uh, going to Warsaw uh, for the commemoration of the um, 80th anniversary of the Warsaw Uprising. That's where all of my uh, family were murdered. Uh, this week, also, the Jewish community, um, we've commemorated Yom HaShoah uh, for the victims of the Holocaust. And of course, Jews have suffered a very, very serious anti-Semitism. Uh, Jews were expelled in many countries, uh, even in the UK. There have been pogroms, murders, violence, the Holocaust, the murder of six million uh, Jews. So to say or suggest that, that Jews haven't suffered uh, racism was, was absolutely appalling, to be honest. I, I cannot see any possible uh, excuse for that. Dan, has, uh, Dan Abbott has apologised. She says that she wants to um, uh, disassociate herself. She's wholly uh, and unreservedly withdraw those remarks and disassociate herself from them. Do you accept that? I'm speaking on behalf of the Jewish community and I certainly do not accept that. It really doesn't stack up that it's suggested that this is merely uh, a draft. And also, this, this is nothing new from Diane Abbott. Uh, there's some interviews going back to the time when the allegations uh, first surfaced against the uh, Labour Party. Uh, I think it was an Andrew Marr interview where Diane Abbott referred to anti-Semitism allegations as smears. So I need to make it clear that we certainly, uh, on behalf of the Jewish community, do not accept this as any sort of apology. And I'd like to give credit to Keir Starmer for making sure that the whip was suspended very, very swiftly today as soon as these allegations surfaced. Would you like to hear from her? And, and if she were to call you Marie, what, what would you say? I'm afraid she hasn't uh, ever contacted me over all of the years. I've been president of the Board of Deputies of British Jews for five years. We've never heard uh, from her. And she's got many constituents that are uh, Haredi Jews and also Jews that will have relatives that have died in the Holocaust. She knows the sensitivities. She's also had all day. We've not had any sort of contact from her. And quite clearly, this is not, in my view, any sort of uh, apology. It just does not uh, stack up that this was just, just a draft that was sent and is suddenly uh, with, withdrawn. It's really not something that I think our community is going to have any doubt about. Is there anything to be said for the fact that she is a woman who has herself faced an astonishing amount of abuse and racism? She's been a fierce anti-racism campaigner over many years. Does that buy her any space to be able to make an apology? I think it's really tarred her great legacy to actually uh, behave in this way. And as I say, it's, it's nothing new uh, to suggest that the allegations of anti-Semitism were just smears. Uh, that's something that has happened long ago. So I think she has tarnished her legacy myself. That's that's my view. You think that, she, that her legacy is tarnished? Yes. Yeah. What should happen next? What should happen next is that Keir Starmer has uh, suspended the whip. There should now be an investigation and the disciplinary processes in the Labour Party now need to um, come into uh, action and that needs to be investigated according to their... Uh, internal processes. That's what needs to happen next. Is there anything, Marie, that Diane Abbott could say or do that would satisfy you that she can move on, that she can reg retain the whip and stand again for Labour? I think that's now got to be a matter for the party. As I say, uh, these allegations or her views about Jews and anti-Semitism, they're nothing, they're nothing new. Uh, these are many, many years uh, standing. So she hasn't apologised, she hasn't contacted us. It's now gone at 10 o'clock at night, this surface this morning, and it really doesn't stack up to suggest that uh, an apology was just a, a draft uh, of, a, of a letter which she just happened to then send to the newspaper. So in my view, it's now a matter for the Labour Party. I commend again Keir's action, acting so quickly to make sure that she was suspended, which was the correct thing to do. Would you invite her to call you, Marie? Would you like to hear from her? I, I think you're, with the greatest of respect, trying to ask me the same questions. The fact is, we've not heard from her. I have never, in the five years that I have been uh, left uh, fighting uh, allegations of anti-Semitism mm -hmm. in the Labour Party, and we've had some really dark days. It's been really tough. The EHRC finding of anti-Semitism, um, uh, you know, having to sit on the... Um, advisory board uh, for anti-Semitism advisory board in the Labour Party have worked through 
uh, a lot of these um, issues over over the years. And it was a dark day when the EHRC made the finding against the Labour Party and it was put into special measures. I have never, ever heard from from Diane Abbott in all of that time. So I, I just think it's not a, a question that is uh, really a, a going to, to make any difference because okay. I would have heard from her since 2018 and I, I, I haven't. OK, Marie, thank you for your time tonight. Lovely to talk to you. Uh, Marie von der Zeel, who is President of the Board of Deputies of Jews on Times Radio with us tonight, uh, of British Jews, uh, an important distinction, the President of the Board of Deputies of British Jews. Yeah, 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 yeah.